Yo, what is up guys? Ultra Ball's back with another Snake Draft game. Uh, this time we actually have Little Cup, which is uh, really exciting for me because uh, Little Cup's actually my personal favorite tier to play. Uh, I have the most fun playing this. Actually, my two favorite tiers are Little Cup and NU. I think they're just, yeah, I, like I play more OU than anything else, but like, that's mostly just because it's the main metagame, right? Like, I think Little Cup and NU are both much more fun than OU. So I'm excited to bring you this game. It's between OP and Bush Tush. And, uh, yeah, I know Bush Tush, like, I know him more for OU. I don't know how much he plays Little Cup or not, so I'm interested to see how he plays. I know OP, though, is, uh, one of the best known in just, just in general, one of the best, uh, Little Cup players that there are. Uh, so, this should be a really fun game. Uh, I guess we'll start the replay right now and then get into the teams quick. Uh, we got the Smog, smog Tours chat on the side. Uh, yeah, so Bush Tush team, uh, has an Elekid, which I don't like Elekid. <laughs> I really don't like Elekid at all. Uh, it just, I don't know, it, like in theory it's good because it has good coverage and it's fast as hell and it hits hard, but it doesn't never do that much. Uh, OP has a Abra and Bush Trish has no Psychic Resist. So that's um that's a fat L immediately uh, from what it looks like. But yeah, OP leads Mianfu. Uh, good play by Bush going into the Kabuto on the fake out. Now he threatens getting rocks, um, but he makes a really nice play. Obviously he would have died to that high jump kick, so he makes a really cool play going into Ghastly. But OP doesn't lose too much with that because the Mianfu does have Regenerator. Uh, seeing that it's like the fake out set, uh, it's going to be fake out, high jump kick, knock U-turn, and it, that always runs regen. So this thing could easily just pivot out, and it's still going to be healthy. So it doesn't matter too much. It goes into Ferro Seed on the Shadow Ball, and that actually does a lot. So uh, from that damage, I assume that this is actually uh, Berry Juice Ferro Seed. Uh, you see pretty much an equal split, usually, between Berry Juice and uh, a Violite. They're both very viable, depending on what you're trying to check. Um, so now Kabuto is sacked to get rocks up. See, like, that's what's, it was, like, weird. Like, if he was just going to sack it now to get rocks up, I don't get why he just didn't do it before when he had the plus two speed against the Mianfu. But, um, yeah. I guess it doesn't really matter either. Like, he got a little bit extra damage off on the Mianfu by pivoting to Ghastly, but like I said, it doesn't matter too much. Uh, this is the easiest knockoff of Bush Tush life because he's going, um, OP pretty much is forced into Spritzy. Like, he has nothing else that really beats the Timber. And, um, I don't think he wants to sack the Ferro Seed yet, because that's the Snivy check. Uh, because Snivy, uh, I guess, like, Ghastly checks it too, but depending on the Snivy set. Um, like, Sni like if it's Scarf Snivy, which is definitely a thing, like, Ghastly's not gonna be able to switch in and take a plus two, uh, take a plus two Leaf Storm. But, you guys saying the Ferro Seed is the, uh, the Ferro Seed is the Snivy check, because Snivy's don't run HP Fire in, uh, Little Cup. I guess when Snivy comes out, I'll talk about that a little more. But, yeah, so... Uh, Bush Trish here should be afraid of Sucker Punch. Like, uh, Diglets in Little Cup, they run, they could run, like, a bunch of different moves. Like, Sub, uh, Beat Up. Obviously, you're gonna have Earthquake. They get a Rock Slide, um, Sucker Punch. Uh, even some of them I've seen have run, like, Sludge, or like, Sludge Bomb or something. Like, it's, it's weird. Like, you could run so many things. So, like, I think you definitely should be scouting for Sucker here because it would blow this Ghastly away. Ghastly has... Hits hard as hell and is fast, but has, like, tch, horrendous defenses. Uh, so, yeah, he does... Okay, he does have Sucker. So, now Snivy. Uh, OP is just going to go into Ferro Seed here. Now, this is what I was talking about. Snivy's in Little Cup don't run Hidden Power Fire. And that's because... Um, so, you know how now in Gen 7 we have Hyper Training, right? So, when you're playing OU or whatever, any other tier, you could... Um, we'll see what Snivy goes for here, too. Knock off. That was a good play, but, like... You should have known that the Ferro Seed was buried just by the damage on the on the Ghastly, so you should know when he switches into Rocks, he would get, so like, there was no point of really making that play, uh, if anything, double or do something, if you expect the Ferris Seed, but yeah, um, so the reason why you don't, so hyper training in Gen 7, right, it allows you to be level 100 and, like, max out your IVs, but you could still have any hidden power, the problem is that, there's was a fire double by OP, though, going into Abra on the Timber, so now he pretty much claims a kill with Psychic, uh, we'll see if, Sack, maybe, I don't know, like, Elekid is looking kind of useless, I guess, but, uh, yeah, so, with Little Cup, the Mons are all at level 5, right? So you can't hyper-train them. So if you run HP Fire on Snivy, you actually lose a point of speed, which is incredibly crucial in Little Cup because Snivy hits uh, 17 speed, which is a really important speed tier. And you, um, yeah, having to run HP Fire and losing that, uh, he just sacks the Timber, okay. I thought Timber was still good for the Pharaoh Seed, but I guess this thing was, I guess breaking the Sash was probably better. So yeah, I agree with Bush Chish's play there. That was pretty good. Um... But yeah, so you can't really afford to run HP Fire because you can't afford to 
to not hit 17 speed if you're Snivy. Uh, so a lot of times what you'll see is they'll run Hidden Power Ice or Hidden Power Ground. Ice hits the flying types like Vullaby and stuff like that, and then Ground hits stuff like um, like Lolan Grimer and Pawnyard. So now uh, he leaves Storms here, and I'm assuming the Snivy's going to switch out again. Um, probably into Croagunk would be my guess. And if I was... Um, OP, this is the freest knockoff uh, that he's, yeah, of his life. Um, he has no good switch-ins to knock. Actually, he doesn't have good ways of beating Ferroseed at all. Now that he's sacked Timber. And uh, Ferroseed's, like, typical moveset is something like a hazard, either rocks or spikes. If you have another rocker, it's usually spikes. And then uh, T-Wave, knockoff, bullet seed. Uh, there's a lot of flexibility in there, though. Sometimes you'll see explosion. Sometimes you'll see double hazard, and then you give up either knock or T wave. Uh, so there's a lot of options. But if he does have knock, which majority of Pharisee should have, uh, he should go for it here. And I'm assuming that Bush Tush will just be switching into the Kurogun. But like I said, like uh, not having a psychic resist is that's really bad for Bush because whenever uh, Abra comes in, it just gets kills no matter what. Uh, so if I'm OP here. Uh, you go Ghastly, because Ghastly should wall Krogunk. Um, I say should, because uh, we see that it knocked off a of Berry Juice. That pretty much confirms that this Krogunk's going to be Nasty Plot. Uh, two attacks are known for sure. It's Vacuum Wave and Sludge Bomb. And he does go for the Sludge on Ghastly, which makes me think he doesn't have Shadow Ball, which is an option in the third slot. It's either Shadow Ball or Focus Blast. Uh, Shadow Ball is used, um, pretty much only to hit Ghastly, because Ghastly obviously walls your... Uh, you're set otherwise. So you could hit Ghastly on the switch, it's really nice, but I'm assuming he was just Focus Blast, and he, we see the Elekid sack here. This is what I mean, this is why I don't like Elekid, because it never gets into battle, and then it ends up just getting sacked. Uh, so, like, I, I'm just not a fan of that Mon. But, um, yeah, if you if he had Shadow Ball there, that would have been a nice play, but I'm assuming he was Focus Blast, which is what's been more common recently. Uh, we see Sucker Punch from OP's Ghastly, uh, knocking out Bush Tushes, and I'm pretty sure the game's over now. Uh, we'll see. This Snivy could be Scarf, though. It's kind of been played that way, and so... But this game should be over regardless. Uh, Bush should definitely just click Leaf Storm here. I'm pretty sure it kills the Ghastly, even though it's a resist. I mean, it's a Ghastly, and I was talking about how weak that thing... Or, like, how frail that thing is. And with the Light Wife, Life Orb Recoil, it'll definitely die. So, now OP could just go into Pharaoh Seed if he wants, because I'm pretty sure that this thing's locked in. Um, maybe he doesn't want to lose to a possible uh, Nasty Plot Krogunk, though, and that's something to be aware of. Aware of. Uh, so I think your other play here would be go... Yeah, okay, so he goes into Diglett. I'm assuming to weaken it to, I don't know, click Sucker. Does that kill? Okay, it does kill. I'm a little surprised because Diglett is actually fairly weak, um, even by Little Cup standards. Uh, but now, obviously, Diglett just wins. So uh, OP showing why he's you know one of the best LC players around. He played that really cleanly. It was a really good game. But like I said, Bushtush, and like I would say, like matchup was not in his favor because he had no psychic resist. But also, that's just kind of like a bad. That's like a flaw in team building because like Abra is legit one of the is one of the top couple offensive threats in in the meta game. So I don't get why you would not pack a psychic resist or like good ways to deal with it. Like, he, he literally lost a Mon every time Abra came in. And Abra only came in once, but, I mean, like, eventually he was going to lose to that if he didn't lose to the other stuff first. So, uh, yeah, you see the replay ended there. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this Little Cup replay. Uh, I think Doc has given me some... He's given me a few other games, too. I think a couple NU, maybe, like, maybe a Grand Slam series. I, I have a lot of different tiers, and I'm going to be giving him a couple per day. So, you should be seeing more of me in the future. If you guys like the video... Uh, drop a like, comment, subscribe, and until next time, Ultra Balls out. Peace.